Hello guys. I don't know if this can be safe or not, but I'm glad I got I got a couple things to move. Like this and a couple other things. I kinda hate what I do. But in a way she wants to just put these down here. So I got a rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figure that we must take a look at. So this is a deluxe. Uh, someone asked me if they were going to have any head articulation or any other kind of articulation. Well, sadly, no head articulation, but the, it does have arm articulation, even though it's a little bit tight. And it does have arm articulation. It just doesn't go out. That's the only thing it has. It only has arm articulation. So here we go. So on the back... Okay, hang on. Speak camera chooser. Back fit camera chooser. Back camera chooser. Speech off. Okay. On the back here, the sword's waiting a little bit, but on the back, there's a sword. He's got his Odachi sword. And it's a little bit out of frame, so I'm just going to show a little bit. And then show the blade, I guess. That's a little bit close. Just let me know. If it's a little bit close, just... Uh, just let me know. But anyway. Back. Camera chooser. Back facing. Button. Camera chooser. Back facing. Camera chooser. Front facing. Button. Camera chooser. Camera chooser. Back facing. Speech off. Okay, um, sorry for that. Um, thank you guys. Um, let's see if he can actually hold the camera. Let's see. No, 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 he can't. He's a little bit... He can try to keep it standing if he wanted to. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hey, thanks, Leo. No problem, buddy. Yeah. Anyways, he's got... Right arm has articulation and the left has articulation. But there's no elbow, no wrist. But what we're mainly getting this thing for is the action feature. And the sound effect that it makes. So, um, right now, if you uh, bend it. Whoa. Whoa. So, if you bend it right now, it won't make any sound. You can either make it to only bend and make a sound. I mean, bend. Or, you can make it have a sound effect as well. So if we raise the arms up a little bit, and we bend it. He lands on his side. Anyways, this figure cannot land on his feet. <laughs> Apparently it says it can land on his feet, but eh, I don't think so. <laughs> it doesn't. So, I've actually seen Raphael, the deluxe turtle, but I don't have, but this guy. So, basically what makes him stand up is the sword that is making him lean. So, the sword kind of sticks out a little bit, which makes him lean a little bit. So, as we... He said, power of turtles. So, if we bind him again... Cowabunga! <laughs> okay, uh, Leonardo's not known to say Cowabunga. It's usually Michelangelo, but anyways. This is Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What do you expect? They all have different catchphrases. Now things get ugly. <laughs> now things get ugly. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> this has like an electronic feature where it would automatically bend. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! <laughs> it's kind of cool. So, I believe all I can say is those four phrases. They're not really meant to say, but more than that, so... Oops. Don't want to break them, so... Ooh. I don't know what happened. Okay, so... Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Now we got it working. So, if we bend it quick enough. Oh, come on! Alright, so. Let's bend the arms up a little bit. Like, at the top here. There we go. So, basically, you get the demo. The memo. So he lands on his back now. <laughs> so, stand it back a little bit. And... Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Really, Leo? You have to say that? I think it's supposed to do that. I think it's supposed to hold out a little bit. So let's see if we hold it down. And you want to go. Boom. So, it also depends on how you're holding it. So, bend it. Just make sure it doesn't fall onto the floor. <laughs> that means it'll probably break. So, he jumps up, and if he doesn't land on his feet, he got this. So, so, let's bend it. Hmm, so, let's bend it. So don't bend it down too hard. So, let's bend it. Kawabunga! <laughs> Actually, it sounds kind of cool though. He's voiced by Ben Schwartz in this show. So, yeah, that's just the review of the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Deluxe Leonardo action figure. So let's just put the arms down to put it in the quote-unquote, if you want to call it that, the off position. Alright. Alright, so, this figure runs at about maybe $12.99, $13. But the actual price point is $14 even, completely, if you want to get this thing. You have to pay at least $15 to get this figure. But the downside about it is that it cannot hold its weapon because of the fact that it's on its back. And basically what happens is you plug this, the blade part into the back. So there's like the handle. You have to... <clears throat> you have to 
put it in the back, like it sort of connects to the handle, but also connects into the hole in the back. So, my overall thoughts, uh, not what I expected. But, what could I say? It's an it's a action figure that has two points of articulation, which are the arms, and you can move them at the shoulder. But if you if you want to say it, I say it articulation, it barely, like, just a smidgen of head articulation, and that's it. So, his bandana, it's a lot different from... I mean, I guess it's the same from uh, the basic figure. Now, I can get the basic figure out if you want. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the basic way on the thing. So, we can uh, take comparison. That's what it is. Here's the basic way of fitting it. Stand out. It's so small, but compared to the other one, the uh, deluxe, he's way bigger than the than this one right here. So, getting this Leo to stand next to the deluxe figure, he's about about um, I don't know, two inches taller. About he's about maybe inch and a half, two inches taller. About an inch and a half, maybe he's about maybe about five, uh, four and a half inches tall. The deluxe figure is about um, five and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six, five and three quarters maybe. <clears throat> but this Leonardo doesn't have any. Um, this Leo doesn't have much of anything. It just has just that. So, my real thoughts of it completely. Well, it's kind of cool. It's kind of a cool concept. Now they kind of got this figure up and running with the Dorch counterpart, with it with his Dorch counterpart. Um, this one doesn't even have any you know, accessories. Once I get the other three turtles, I'm going to do reviews of them. So, yeah, you better watch out of them three. So, this was <clears throat> Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo Deluxe Figure Review. This has been Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Leonardo, the deluxe figure, action figure, video, review. Now, say what you want about this figure in the comments, but if you're a blind person, it really wouldn't matter to you, would it? I mean, seriously, if you... If this was what you wanted to do as a hobby you know, collect Ninja Turtles and review them. That's my hobby. Your hobby may be gardening if you're an adult. Like, if you're a responsible adult. If you're someone that does gardening or mowing or something, uh, that's probably your duty. But if you like that as a hobby, I don't mind. I wouldn't mind at all. So... These figures can be found at Walmart. I don't know about Target because I haven't been there yet. But these figures, they have to be bent. They have to have very minimal articulation just to have their action feature. Yeah, that's been the figure. So, goodbye. Camera chooser, back facing, back, cap, stop recording.